This training video is a capture of an interactive online training module. While this training video provides you with valuable content, the optimal experience can only be had by navigating to the Extreme Networks website and accessing this interactive training through our educational services portal. Welcome to the Extreme Networks WM3000 series online training. The product overview module provides you with an overview of the WM3000 series WLAN product line. Press the begin training button whenever you are ready to start. This training provides you with the knowledge you need to describe the products in the Extreme Networks WM3000 series wireless LAN portfolio. Choose one of the options on the screen to begin. Make a selection from the available options. The WM3000 series controller product line offers a number of features and benefits, including a common software base as well as a variety of hardware platforms that scale to fit most any organization's needs. The platforms currently available are the WM3400, WM3600, and WM3700 wireless LAN controllers. The WM3400 wireless LAN controller provides capabilities and service levels that are appropriate for small office or branch office deployments. When deployed in a standalone configuration, this controller has the ability to support six thin or six adaptive access points. When deployed as part of a cluster of controllers, the WM3400 can support up to 72 access points. The WM3400 has the capacity to support up to 200 users. The WM3600 is designed to support medium to large enterprises. This device can support up to 48 thin access points or 256 adaptive access points in a standalone configuration. When installed as part of a cluster, the WM3600 can support up to 576 thin access points or 3,072 adaptive access points servicing up to 20,000 users. The WM3700 is designed to address the needs of large enterprises and data centers. This device provides support for up to 256 thin access points or 1024 adaptive access points when in a standalone configuration. When part of a cluster of controllers, the WM3700 can support up to 3,072 thin access points or 12,288 adaptive access points. The robust software and hardware features of the WM3700 give it the ability to service up to 96,000 users. Regardless of the size of the enterprise, the WM3000 series controller product line has the performance and scalability to meet the needs of most any organization. The WM3400 wireless LAN control. The WM3000 the WM3400 Wireless LAN Controller. The Summit WM3400 is specifically designed to meet the needs of small to medium enterprises, as well as the unique needs of a remote office environment. The Summit WM3400 is 12 inches wide, 10 inches deep, and one rack unit high. With its small footprint, the WM3400 can easily be deployed in environments where physical space is at a premium. For those customers that wish to deploy the WM3400 in a traditional 19-inch telecommunications rack, an optional mounting kit is available. The WM3400 ships pre-licensed with the ability to support up to six access points. Other licenses shipped with the device are the Advanced Security License, Real-Time Location Service API License, and a 3G License. 
The WM3400 also ships with an installation guide, console cable, and power supply. However, the power cord is not included. When making an order, ensure that a country appropriate power cord for the unit is also included. The front panel of the WM3400 has a number of components that enable the device to easily be managed and integrated into the network. Please click on one of the various component areas to learn more about the system's features. The LEDs on the WM3400 provide information about the status of the unit and its components. For example, the SIS1 and SIS2 LEDs provide the network administrator with the result of the power on self test, the current operation of the unit, as well as the operational status of the power over Ethernet ports. The other two LEDs provide information about the status of the fan and the operating temperature of the device. The WM3400 has 5 gigabit speed power over Ethernet Plus or PoE Plus capable ports that use the 802.3 AT draft standard. This enables the unit to support five directly connected PoE devices or three directly connected 802.3 AT devices with each 802.3 AT device drawing 30 watts maximum. The unpowered uplink port is a shared gigabit port that provides either a copper or fiber connection. Please refer to the hardware documentation to determine which small form factor pluggable GBIX are supported on this device. The USB port on the WM3400 WLAN controller allows the network administrator to connect USB flash storage devices to the controller. The controller uses the USB flash storage device for file transfers and firmware updates. The WM3400 WLAN controller supports USB flash devices formatted with FAT or VFAT, in other words FAT32, file systems. The WM3400 WLAN controller has an RJ45 port that provides a serial console connection into the system. Shipped along with the WM3400 WLAN controller is a cable that enables the network administrator to physically connect a device with a male RS-232 DB9 interface to the RJ45 port on the controller. The serial port of the device is configured to run at 19.2 kilobits per second, 8 data bits, 1 stop bit, no parity, no flow control, and no hardware compression. Refer to the documentation for the cable pinouts. The express card slot on the WM3400 WLAN controller provides the network administrator with a way to add capabilities such as a 3G cellular backup link to the wireless LAN. Refer to the documentation for the express card devices that are supported in the WM3400 wireless LAN controller.